Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you see me? We're live. We're live on the stream. Wonderful, excellent. Ladies and gentlemen of whatever gender you prefer, we are here in the monochrome headquarters at Museumsquartier Vienna. My name is Grenzwurtner and there is Ablinger. Hello, hello, hello. And we have, come here, come here, come here. We have our wonderful monochrome artist in residence, Christian Plomlom Pom Heller. Yeah, that's the monochrome headquarters outside. All the stuff we need, lots of plenty, lots of uh, and lots of Günther, who is our doctor and driver. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's shoot the fucker. Austrian lockdown means embracing death. Here in this car, we are super safe. We all have COVID-19 negative tests. We are not bringing the virus to you. We are just bringing wonderful drinks to you. All these people here at Museums Quarter, they will all die. My Merobots have four different kind of cocktails out of my clock. Maybe this is the reason why it's called a cocktail. Customers, come closer, come closer. And we have Thomas Brandl and Thomas Granabetter. Thomas and Thomas, the Thomases. And we have on the left-hand side, uh, the mule bot, which you call... Antiseptomat. Antiseptomat, what an awful name. And you have Das Gemächt, which you call... 2020 was a dick. 2020 was a dick is serving um, gin tonic, a very nice sour, vodka orange, vodka orange and, coke and coke rum out of four dicks that are actually your dicks. That's a, so we have an Averna sour. Okay. Yeah. And the all important financial interaction. Günther, how, are you, how happy are you about uh, our income in the last days? Uh, it, it is okay. It could be better. Cheers. You currently should be having to Kagran. No accidents so far. Oh, Accident. I see someone is in the waiting room now. A certain Alex Rösler. When you are thirsty, just go to Roberto and say, einen vodka shot, bitte. Uh, he can find the bottle based on the barcodes located on the bottle. In the meantime, we have successfully delivered a, a, a Moscow mule to a wonderful uh, customer here in the 22nd district. We actually have a couple more robots here. At some point, this, uh, this Roomba should carry the tablet. Yeah, and should move around with the drinks. We had a, a robot a couple of years ago, and the story was that the robot has a facial recognition algorithm and that algorithm can detect if you are very drunk or if you are not drunk. And the story was, it tries to find the most drunk person in the room and bring that person more alcohol. So I thought I'd check in and also say something as long as the hotline phone is not ringing. I'm here to ask the people yeah. you deliver to our, how they rate my service. Customer service agent. So that's where all the people call. Evelyn, now you can see some of your customers that you talk to. Yeah. Hi, yeah. this was me on the phone. And we already have have to leave. Yeah. Beautiful Floridsdorf. Where are we going now? Oh, yeah. we're, fuck. I think that Barbara Wimmer is uh, um, coming to uh, the live stream pretty soon. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. This is disgusting. Could you talk about uh, the dangers and the dark sides of technology? I published a science fiction book about that side of the stories um, with, together with Günther in 2018. And I'm going to publish a book without fiction, just with real examples. And it's called Hilfe, ich habe meine Privatsphäre aufgegeben. Help, I lost my privacy in English. It's quite 
it's quite hard to speak under that mask. It's very important that people know what they put inside of their houses. I want a robot that cleans my house, but I don't want it to have a camera. Like one example is about a mom who was breastfeeding her baby. The camera always was switching to over to her while she was doing that. And Christian Heller, who is my co-host today, he just a couple of years ago published a book about post-privacy and why it's good to a certain degree that we give up our privacy. And now I want to see the boss fight. So it's your turn, Christian. Oh, I'm so bored by this topic. <laughs> you have a whole family waiting for cocktails. Can you see them? This is a Rettungseinsatz. We bring in an alcohol. We have in the waiting room another person, swax.org. Should I let them in? Oh, you should definitely talk to him about his pancake uh, machine. 2011, I think, was the first time uh, I showed the omelette tomate. Uh, it was a disaster back then. Uh, nothing worked. The ladle is leaking. I uh, have some, <laughs> some loose contacts. Uh, the jam pipe is dripping. Start. Yeah, uh, sometimes it works. But I, I'm building uh, another version that should be much more yeah, easier to handle. Oh, and already it's has a not nice... working in the, at the moment. But light effect is working. It exists. Um, so. The, the blinking light is, is the only thing that works in the, at the moment. <laughs> so I don't think I ever ate many of the of the amaletum. I'm always too busy drinking when I'm there. Sorry. I food food bothers the, the inebriation process that I'm busy with. There should be a hoof einfahrt so it's irgendwo geben. So in front of us and back of yeah. us is the ambulance. I was uh, talking to one of the ordering customers earlier. We talked about how, how our team, how our delivery team would look to any non-knowing bypass uh, bystander. And I was like, if I saw them, I would probably hide around the next corner and trying not to get shot. <laughs> he agreed. <laughs> He is looking forward to seeing you guys because he has a kind of a nasty house besorgerin who is, uh, who, whose window is, is going right out onto the street where the delivery will probably take a place. And he wants her to, you know, be a bit scared and, you know, open her window and... Hello, hello. Night stream. Hi, hi, hi. You ordered the Moscow Mule, I heard. Yes, yeah. hotline, Evelyn, hello. Uh, and uh, probably be in the 16th district before our next uh, star guest uh, will be uh, in our stream. And that's Michael Marak, the science fiction author from Germany. And here, the darkness of the cemetery. Oh. Do you want, do you want to climb over? What can I find there? Uh, there's a cemetery. Do you think there are customers? Hey, uh, so um, uh, we have our customers here. <laughs> Cocktail delivery in progress. Uh, delivery. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Frankie, maybe you know something, uh, uh, because I, at the moment I have no way to contact uh, Michael, but he should be in our live stream for the last five minutes already. Me neither. I don't have any contact to him. So I have really no idea where Michael Marak is, but uh, uh, for me... Uh, that means I might probably have to call him or something like that. So people want to see the dragon dick again. I can certainly uh, provide uh, for that desire. And by the way, I'll, I'll call an Uber for you now, Christian, okay? Okay, <laughs> tell me when, when I have to be where. The Uber is on the way. It will be there in two minutes. Our co-moderator has to fly back to Berlin. So which I just called him an Uber. So again, like uh, our, our wonderful customers. Enjoy your drinks. <laughs> now I'm sitting in the chair where Christian has been before. Um, where are his headphones? <laughs> Shit, he his headphones. Hello. You hear the great printer noises from the mid in the background. Uh, Frankie, who, who designed the poster this year? Uh, it was Michael Marak. And... Uh, 
Michael Marak should be here any moment, but uh, he hasn't joined yet. We are uh, arriving at the Metalab very soon, so that's our next stop. I just wanted to be sure that Christian left for the Uber because the Uber driver is still waiting. Hetty from Metalab is here. I'm coming outside. See you. You are on the way. See you in a second. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, by the way, hey, Beta Lab, Beta Lab. Hey, Beta Lab, guys, hello. Guys, hello. Hello. Can you bring Club Mate? I can't hear me. I sure have the better job being at home. Yeah, and drinking your. How is it called? Belgian Blue. Belgian Blue. Frankie, by the way, uh, how are you doing? Frankie? Where is Frankie? Okay. Missing in action. Am I? Now, now that Christian Heller is on the way to the airport, the whole moderation concept falls apart. <laughs> we got uh, four Club Mates and uh, we are delivering one rum and coke nice. i think i think i think that, i think that's an even trade what's the status with marak that's a perfect rum cola ah, ah, stuck in cables. Cola. Hetty, uh because you're still in the stream could you tell us a little bit about the metal lab so the metal lab is a hex space in the first district of vienna we are already since 2006 here so already 14 years and uh, it's an open space. We offer infrastructure. We have 3D printers. We have a fucking huge new laser cutter. I'm I'm gonna show you our new laser cutter. Oh sure, I'm I'm always interested. Boys with toys. So let's turn on the lights. No, broken lights are broken. It's just huge. So the the whole room is full with the laser cutter. We just arrived at uh, uh, at Zwak's home. You know, Zwak is the guy who built the pancake making machine, and Zwak actually really brought us pancakes here. Wow! Nom nom nom. Yeah. 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 This is actually like having a gimbal in my hand and eating a pancake. <laughs> Not that easy. But I, I, I can do it. I can do it. Oh, look at it. Mm. Mm. Oh. Uh, uh, it is uh, my pleasure to welcome Uncle Olli to the chat. Hi, so, hi there. Uh, How are you? Frankie, I heard that we also have Michael Marak waiting in the line. Is that true? Frankie? Michael is on already. Okay, Michael, hello. Oh, he just writes he does not have a microphone on his computer. <laughs> Well, That's if he funny. does not have a microphone on his computer, then we have a bit of a problem. We have, we have outside is our next customer. But uh, uh, we'll, we'll just say hello to the customer from the live stream. Hello, 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 hello. While I am recharging my phone, you are going to the corner store and making a Jägermeister milk. Okay. Exactly. That sounds like something that probably some people are interested in watching. Uh, well, I tried Jägermeister and I tried milk, but I never mixed it. I'll just leave this building, go 10 meters right. So I'm in the store. It's a really nice corner store. So, ooh, looks oozy. It doesn't feel like a cocktail or something you should drink. But it's definitely drinkable. <laughs> Although technical problems are wonderful things at the Mobile Exotica. Uh, Frankie, turn your microphone off. Frankie, Frankie, turn down your microphone. Frankie, Frankie. Oh my God. He is the moderator. <laughs> I cannot turn him off. Frankie, turn your phone. I have too many screens here. Mm. 
Blom is here from the airport. Can you turn on your, your video? Let me try. Uh, this interface is very confusing. But I'm... Uh, as far as I can tell, you're at the airport and it's completely empty. Yeah, it's like uh, maybe one person or so every 100 meters. Our customers right now, they actually made a cake for us. Can oh, we some... that, of course. It's, it's Christian Strasser. Oh, it's perfect. So what, what, why are you making cake for us? You're so nice. I just got uh, a message from uh, Michael Marak. Uh, it seems that his uh, audio is not working at all. I mean, you have been drinking the whole afternoon. No exactly. No to be like... Um... Sorry. <laughs> fully functional anymore. <laughs> Even people know you and about your shop, whoever, who never have, a, have been to Hanover before, so. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm in the drinking business, right? So okay. uh, I started 13 years ago selling beer in my shop and now I'm a brewer and um, I produce beer and sell it to other shops. I got a bottle of it here. Okay, show me, oh wow. It's a Pilsner. It's okay. a Nordstadt, it's a no, the, the, the person here, it's a Nordstadt Braut. It's a strong, independent woman drinking beer from the bottle. Michael yeah. just arrived, by the way. Who arrived? Michael, it's Dean. Here he is. Well, just like, well, let, me, let me reorganize my, my phone uh, stuff here for a second. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to unmute. We have uh, Michael uh, and we have Sophia from uh, uh, Los Angeles. And they're both uh, filmmakers. We just woke up pretty it's, much. It's like 11 a.m. in Los Angeles. <laughs> we wish we had robots to bring us drinks. We're, we're actually upset that there are no robots here and that there is not a delivery service. We, we think that you should expand this. Yeah, it sounds great. You're also a uh, Robo Exotica veteran. Could you tell us a little bit about the, the machine that you built? It's Noten for, Noten for de Toten. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a musical robot that you had to play 10 notes to get a mixed drink out of. Uh, it worked okay. It held up most of the weekend. <laughs> and it had the flashing eyes of different Austrian composers that would yell at you when you played notes wrong. The high priest of alcohol. It is. He has a beer crown. It is the high priest of alcohol. <laughs> Finally, we see him. And his beer crown. Oh my God. Kann mich zufällig jemand hören? Okay, there was one cocktail robot we had a couple of years ago. The only thing you could do is give the, uh, the robot money. And the robot would buy beer with that money at the bar and then would pour it into itself. And at some point, uh, it would be just full of beer, and then it would release all that beer on the floor at once. When you had it and, and that's it. <laughs> Fuck, my battery is dying. Frankie, take over, my battery is dying. Everybody stay here. We lost the moderator, so I'm just, you know, stepping in, not knowing what I'm doing. Please, Michael. Entschuldige, ich habe hier noch ein paar kleine Schwierigkeiten. Well, see That's you. Good. Please just keep talking about, about your project, about your robot project, till we get moderation and chatty Johannes back. I'm just hanging in there because there's nobody else there. So I want to make a robot which can properly shake a cocktail. So I realized, you know, having like a pneumatic cylinder and then putting butt back and forth, this, this would be fast enough and, you know, also powerful enough. So I, I want to shake it like up and down so that it, uh, you know, um, shakes the ice around and yeah, maybe also add some, some like the whole arm movement so that everyone can see from many angles. How much of the gallery can you see? This is Seda. Oh, good to see you, Seda. I am I'm gone from the stream for 15 minutes and hell breaks loose. This is just like, uh, this is falling apart. You are uh, uh, the perfect uh, uh, person to talk to about innovation and technology, uh, about creativity, 
uh, because you're also running uh, Sonophilia. We have two main big projects. One of them is called Matters.Global. Just let me show you. It's a big platform uh, for collaborative problem solving. Um, and the other one is called uh, Sonophilia Institute of Applied Creativity. It's the scientific research institute. Uh, dedicated to making creativity as tangible science. So we are looking into how creativity works in the brain. The one thing that kind of made us crawl out of our uh, uh, caves and go onto the moon, you know, that driving force behind every innovation we did as humanity uh, goes really under-researched. Hey, so how are you? That, that's Vlad. <laughs> And Vlad is organizing the TEDx Vienna event. Sweet. Yes, together with Alina. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes. And Eddie uh, Cordell is waiting since 10 okay. minutes. Hey, how you doing? What are you having? Well, right now um, it's just orange juice, but I'm about to add in some Trader Joe's uh, Texas vodka. You are uh, uh, doing for, for some years now. Uh, something really special. The Flying Robot Film Festival is was was or maybe still is in the future. I don't know yet. Um, a film festival for drone um, drone movies and drone inspired um, filmmaking. This is a kind of a cool robot. I, I don't know what, where this is from, but anything that's made out of cardboard. Um, this cool is the it. last is Moscow Mule for it, 2020 it Robo well. Exotica. I hope good color and I hope it's still oh, sparkly. Let's make it very spotlight. Wow. Oh my god. Very nice. And now Monochrome is uh, administrating the official cocktail delivery service for that bar, for Werkzeug H. The downside is that uh, the first and the second day of the live stream were not recorded. So it's like uh, tears in rain. Doesn't Twitch automatically uh, archive anything you stream to it unless you tell it otherwise? Well, that's what we thought. You uh -huh. actually have to turn it on. And this is a really strong gin and tonic. Oh, fucking hell. Uh <laughs> Here's to drinking and driving, or riding and driving, whatever you're doing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Gunther is not drinking. I do not want another one because- One more I... drink, one more drink. You can do it, Tonis. Jug, jug, jug. There's jug. another robot idea. I'm sure it's already been done, but Brobot, where you just have the bros who are like, hey man, have another drink. Like, really? in, like a group, like a group pressure bot. That's it. Uh, That's Thomas Kahnebetter is taking apart his my wonderful part. dick machine. There we have it. Oh my God. We're closing the back door. Bum! Now uh, entering museum's quarter. The doors are open already. There is the big black hole. We're almost there. Let's go inside. It is time to probably, in a few seconds, to say goodbye to the stream. You have to press the button. Thank you, Thomas, uh, for for your service. And Günther, like, are you happy? Also financially. Yeah. Good night. Good night. <laughs>